5 Tips Building Shuttles Number 1. Starting Point I usually start with the cockpit. Whatever part you start with will be sort of the anchor for our subassembly. In this early stage, try to keep construction on your cockpit simple, as you will need to build a duplicate of it in the VAB. I typically attach wing pieces near the nose with only pitch enabled to help lift your nose on landing. Number 2. Build and Test the Plane Check the description for a link to my 5 tips building space planes for specifics. Once you've completed your space plane, test it on the runway. It's not so important that it's able to take off easily as it is it's able to land easily. Be sure and do many landing tests with an empty fuel tank and learn the ins and outs of your aircraft before you send it into space. Number 3. Build the Booster Grab your craft behind its cockpit and save that as a subassembly. Now we're off to the VAB. Construct an approximate duplicate of the cockpit you had before and attach your subassembly to it. Attach a radial decoupler and your core fuel tank. Number 4. Control Section Attach SAS units at the top of your booster and high-power liquid-fueled thrusters. Performing your launch with RCS on will keep these active and help you point your nose in the right direction as your center of mass and thrust shift. You can attach your high-powered thrusters to your tank, but I tend to put them behind wing pieces attached in symmetry mode. Once your booster is complete, put it back in the subassembly and back to the spaceship hangar to install the engines. Number 5. Align Thrust In the spaceship hangar, attach your subassembly with booster and prepare to install the engines. Attach the engines radially with angle snap off. I tend to use the radial attachment point. Attach your engines and then move them around with angle snap off, lining up your center of thrust with center of mass. Consider adding engines with different varieties of thrust to compensate for a moving center of mass. Compare the location of your center of thrust to center of mass at different levels of fuel and try to find a good middle ground. Limit the thrust to zero on your orbiter if you don't intend to use your orbiter's engine on ascent. And keep in mind if you plan to attach radial boosters that that will move your center of mass down closer to the booster. Once you've determined a good middle ground, grab the whole thing again as a subassembly, and we're off to the VAB. Attach your new subassembly complete with engines and attach radial boosters. Remember to limit the thrust of your orbiter's engine if you don't plan to use it on ascent. Ensure the center of mass and center of thrust are lined up, and don't forget our control section will make up for any slack at the expense of fuel. Remember for the control section to work, you need to have RCS on during launch. It's a good idea to include monopropellant on your booster so your orbiter is not deprived once it reaches space. If you experience trouble with flipping, try adding more thrusters or repositioning your engines. If your shuttle is small, it may actually do better placed on top of your booster with fins at the bottom. And remember to try different combinations of engines. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for 5 more unconventional uses for parts.